Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Back in January 2016, PM Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone for India's largest helicopter manufacturing facility in Tumkur, Karnataka. The new helicopter factory is spread across 615 acres of land in Tumkur. As per the latest interview of HAL's Chief R. Madhavan in Times of India, HAL's new helicopter factory is all set to start the phase one of the operation. There are further expansion plans in Tumkur. The second phase will see an engine facility, carbon, filament and composite factory and other facilities coming up. The Tumkur factory comprises of establishment of facilities like manufacturing, structural manufacturing, structural assembly, final assembly line, helipad, flight hangar, ATC, equipping hangar, admin building and other structures. According to HAL chief, the factory is built on industry 4.0 norms and equipped with IT services and integrated building management system with operational nerve center for entire campus having total control to monitor all these services. As part of phase 1 operation, the facility has capacity to build 30 LUH per year and this can be further upgraded to 60 choppers. The facility will manufacture LUH and Kamovka 2 to 6 kind of helicopters. As per HAL chief, first helicopter of Tumkur plant that is light utility helicopter LUH has already been manufactured and will be rolled out during the inauguration which is expected to be attended by PM Narendra Modi in coming weeks. Now as we know, back in 2015, India had inked a deal worth $1.2 billion with Russia for 200 Kamovka twin-engine utility helicopters out of which 135 was for Army, 65 for Air Force. Now out of this, 60 choppers were to be imported from Russia in flyaway condition and the remaining were planned to be manufactured under a joint venture between HL and Russian helicopters. The overall cost of CAR-226 is estimated to be around Rs 20,000 crore. However, commercial negotiations are yet to begin. Now as per HL's chief, the land has been earmarked for this and within the Tumkur facility. If the deal is finalized, CAR-226 can also be produced in Tumkur plant under the joint venture between Russia and HL. However, this deal is now in back burner amid the western sanction on Russia, transfer of technology and percentage of indigenous content. Indian government is now pushing for indigenous platform like LUH. The Indian Army, Air Force and Navy have combined requirement of around 500 light helicopters for various operational roles. HL is expecting a combined order from Army and Air Force for 187 light helicopters which include 126 for Army and 61 for Air Force. Last year in November, the Ministry of Defence has placed an initial order of 12 limited series light utility helicopter out of which 6 are for Army and 6 for Air Force. HL has manufactured the first limited series LUH at Tumkur plant. Before this, HAL had built three prototypes which have flown extensively during the trials. The first four LUHs are to be completed by the end of this financial year, while the other eight will be built in next one, which is expected to be followed by series production of the helicopter. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.